going on everyone? It's Ritz Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. All right, so before I get into the drama, very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. You guys, they have a holiday box coming up, or it might be on their website. I don't know. You can find out if you click the link down below. Discount automatically applies at checkout. And if you're thinking about a gift, check out Manscaped. They have amazing products over there that I'm sure you will find something for everyone at any price point. So thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, they're now shipping to New Zealand, Australia, Canada. Girl, they're shipping everywhere. All right, guys, thank you. Let's get back to the drama. Okay, let's talk. This drama is straight off the press, girl. I'm still getting my makeup done. Thank you so much. I'm still getting my makeup done to tell you this because I'm literally was like, we gotta put this out there. Super hot, off the fresh tea. Mm, do I look like Kylie? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Zania is the one who does a lot of my makeup most of the time and literally keeps this the glue together here. So, and Zania just started a brand new YouTube channel. Yeah, Your first YouTube channel, right? My first ever social media. Finally. Not so, platform, but yeah. channel. So if you, and she's openly trans. Yeah. So if you have any questions or just want somebody new to watch on YouTube, check her out. Yeah. She's just starting out. <laughs> she hasn't yeah. been tainted by. <laughs> oh, I don't know yet. By YouTube. I, I might have those tainted opinions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so definitely check her out. I'll put yes, a link down out, below. Guys. Send her stuff. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So I have all the receipts. Let's see what I got here. Let me see. Gabby Hanna. Nah. I'll save that for a slow news day. Let me see. James Charles. Nah. Here. Ah, got it right here. Shane Dawson and Garrett and. There's your receipt right there, girl. Let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. First of all, there's been a, there's, okay, whoa. That's on, whoa. Let's just start out that way, and I'm gonna say some things that you might, here's my, my drama shield, guys, so you go ahead and leave your little hate comments. There's another hate comment right there, girl. But leave your little hate comments, girl. Welcome to the YouTube Trauma Channel, girl. Okay, so Garrett Watts posted on his Instagram story. Now, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Shane Dawson had a very good dear friend for, to him named Garrett Watts. They, I, I feel they're still good friends. And I say that because there's still photos of them on the internet. So I'm kind of like, okay. And Shane Dawson is very much doing his own thing and shows Garrett Watts. And so now people are like trying to see if these people are still friends. From my opinion, and I've met Garrett in person, super nice, super charming, very confident. I've met Shane Dawson in person. I've met Andrew in person. You know what? You want to know, like, I literally met them all in person. Girl, hold on. You know what? I feel like they, they very much all get along because I got the vibe that they're all very much like a man's man. They're very much like the guy's guys. Like, you know, just like hanging out with the guys. Like that's the kind of like the vibe that I get. And I think that's a solid foundation for a positive relationship and friendship. That makes sense? So I don't think that there's any drama, but I very much get the sense that because they're like guys, guys, if they were to be any drama, they probably wouldn't like talk about it. They'll probably be like, well, you know, it is what it is. Wish you the best, my success. And you know, I'll see you when I see you. Like, so I don't know if that's the case or if they're still, really good friends, right? But the people are talking, there's Reddit threads, there's blogs, there's people, you know, I'm not breaking the news here. But Garrett Watts went over to his Instagram story and he posted this. <sighs> okay, girl. So when he posted that, a lot of people started to speculate, like what is going on? You know, you haven't really seen Shane Dawson with Andrew or with Garrett anymore at the house, at his house, but then again, maybe they're doing the whole quarantine gig, but then you haven't really seen Shane Dawson do anything. As a matter of fact, the only thing that I could think of, I mean, as of right now, of making this video, so this could happen after that, beside the fact, and just egg on my face if I'm wrong, but Ryan Adams came out with the podcast, and Shane Dawson congratulated him. And then Garrett came out with the podcast. And y'all can leave in the comments down below if Shane Dawson congratulated them or not. Because I haven't found it, but I'm pretty sure he did. But people were just trying to like speculate drama where there's none. Or is there drama? And we don't have no clue. 
So that's pretty much like the situation of it all. Congratulations to Garrett and Andrew for coming out with their their Sweet Guys. I think it's a Sweet Guys podcast. I mean, so far it sounds great. The first episode was amazing. The teaser for it on YouTube was really great. I'm interested and I will be watching. Now, I wonder if there is any tea, will they talk about it on the podcast? That's really what I want to know. And you know what? If they're just like a little PR advice to Andrew and Garrett, if there's not any tea or drama, well, girl, you should kind of elude to tea and drama. Like put out a tweet. <sighs> Today's podcast, we're going to be talking about fake YouTube friends. And then pe everyone's going to be thinking they're going to talk about Shane Dawson because or Rylan or Trisha Paytas. Or Jeffree Star, like they literally could just, they, they could pull in the views that way. Cause then people are really gonna be listening. And then really they're sitting there just talking about what they really talk about and just be like, so do you think there's fake friends on YouTube? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. There you go, boom. So it's not really clickbait, you kinda talked about it. But I'm just saying that's one angle they could they could do. And then Rylan Adams could retaliate and be like, tomorrow's podcast, we're talking about my ex-husband's fake friends. And then people tune in and then he doesn't even mention it or anything like that. And it's just like all made up for views and clicks and drama. I mean, people will live for it. Y'all sit there and y'all say, y'all don't like drama. I don't like drama. Keep me, I, I don't like drama. I mean, I like drama. I just don't like when I'm in the drama. Like y'all live for the drama, but then y'all like to say y'all don't like drama. But so, why y'all click on the drama videos? I mean, that's just, that's just the tea all day long. You know what I'm saying? So, you know who you are? Y'all like the drama, girl. But anyway, so let me know what you think of all that drama between Shane Dawson and Garrett. And I honestly, just my opinion, I don't think there's any drama between them. And if there is, I don't think we would ever hear about it. That's just the truth. All I do not think we would ever hear about if there was. Do I think that Garrett would ever make a sit down exposed video on Shane Dawson? No. Like, no, like, I feel like they have some type of bro code or they were friends. And at the same time, like, if they do have problems, I don't think it's for YouTube to air out. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like they were such close friends. They would have the respect to just let go and let God and just be like, you know what? I could, I can get on YouTube and tell you the real Shane Dawson. And then Shane Dawson can sit down. I could tell you the real Andrew. And it's like, well, for what? Like, but for what? Because by you sitting down and saying that about that person really says a lot about you. Cause you know, you know, when you do this, you have all these fingers pointing back at you. So I think they know that. I think they're mature enough to understand that there was a, a real genuine f friendship there. So they wouldn't ever do it. And I think that it's just a few people on the internet who are trying to pick that and put up against these people having drama for the sake of views and attention. And I think that someone who is smart would see it. And I think my audience would kind of maybe, hopefully you guys see it that way too. But if you don't, I mean, egg on my face if there is drama and tomorrow Shane Dawson drops a video about the real Andrew, who knows, you know what I'm saying? But what I do miss is everyone starting a podcast except Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson used to have a podcast called Shane and Friends and it was good and I really enjoyed it and I sometimes wonder if Shane Dawson misses his podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like I I wonder if he misses that or not. I don't know. I mean, if I had a podcast, I would like who should I start a, should I start a podcast? If I start a podcast, I put it on Patreon, girl. I don't know what I would talk about. I don't know. I would I would talk about fake tea. The real tea with Shane Dawson and Garrett and then y'all click in on this talking about keto diet food, girl. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about that drama again. Leave a like, leave a comment. It helps the struggle, girl. It helps the channel so, 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 so much. Again, if you do not like this video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back. And don't forget, you can check me out on Twitch. I started like a Twitch channel where I like just play games and game in there, just like hang out, put the link down below. If you can't get enough of this channel, I started a second channel where I'm just like shopping. So yeah, come with me while I go places and shop. I'll leave that channel link down below. And don't forget Zanaya, I'll put her link down below as well. You can check out her and whatever she's got going on on her channel. Maybe she'll spill tea, who knows? Oh, you know what, Zanaya, you still in the room? Yeah. You can't see all these lights. You should put in a title, The Real Rich Lux. Ooh. And then, <laughs> Y'all want to know the tea? Y'all want to know the tea? <laughs> Get this video up to 10,000 likes and I'll do an exposing Rich Love video. Oh my god. Okay guys, so let me think about that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.